Good evening folks and welcome to Alien Addict. Now, I hope you're all sitting down for this because I feel like I need to come clean. Um, it's been on my mind for a while now and a few other YouTubers have noticed and yeah, it's, um, it's time to confess. So... If for anybody that's been with the channel for a while now, they'll have seen that I've I, I used to debunk um, Secure Team Ten quite frequently. Um, some of my biggest videos, you know, nearly fifty thousand views, uh, and they're gone. You know that they are gone, and it's the reasons behind it has been financial. So. I don't know how to explain this. It, it it's going to be hard, but I'm going to show you. There is a good friend of mine. Um, to be fair, he's he's caught me red-handed. Um, I'm just going to play his clip. Then I'll I'll be back with you. Okay. Hope you sat down. And alien edits just removed all his debunks on security, and suddenly he's got a nice donation in his Patreon, so I'm not too sure what's going on there, but it's kind of suspicious. As you know, as we found out, Tyler pays off people to stop debunking them or remove content on them. But now Tyler's money has been killed, hopefully. Um... You are seriously the dumbest person I've met before. He won't be able to afford to pay everybody 500 bucks each or 30 bucks each or 50 bucks each. So, first off, Mavis. We're going to call the out there channel Mavis for this video, okay? I don't know why. I just think it's funny. Um, I've got $37 going to my Patreon account each month from five very generous people, that all of which I'm going to leave the names here. All but one, because he would like to remain anonymous, because he's probably Tyler. Um, but yeah, $37, I, you know, I don't come that cheap. You know, it'd take at least 500 Oh, by the way, if anybody would like to uh, get my Patreon up to 500 um, and piss Mavis off a little bit more, then I will leave the link to the Patreon in the description below. If not, you know, a thumbs up at the video and a share out would do... I need more video sharing out. I know I don't upload every single day, but you know, I need to get this channel out there. The out there channel. Yes. I like what I did there. But you, you know, Mavis, if you really wanted to know the reason, the reasons why um, the videos, the Secure Team 10 videos are not there anymore, then you know, all you needed to do was ask. And I, you know, I'd, I would have told you. But um, Tyler may have paid me off. Secure Team 10 approached me over a year and a half ago now, uh, when my little boy was first born. And it, we had a bit of a debate. Um, Friendly-ish. Uh, he was asking why I debunk him so many times. And I just said, look, if you didn't put out so many videos that I can debunk, then I wouldn't debunk them. Um... And then we got a talking as human beings. We had a bit of a laugh. I, I thought, you know what? Let's try it on the other side for a little bit. Let's try not to be so negative. So I I, I remember um, Third Phase of Moon was approaching 500,000 subscribers. And they got to 500,000 subscribers. I did a little dance for them in my living room. <laughs> probably one of them videos that might come back to haunt me um and then i did a video that was titled i think it was something like third phase of moon versus secure team 10 or something like that i did a few other videos that was speaking about tyler and third phase in kind of a a, a nice way i wasn't being as much of a dick and 
what was happening is my subscriber count was going up, but then it was going back down. I thought, am I losing these people because I'm speaking well of Secure Team 10 and Third Phase of Room? Probably. Um, but then I watched the videos and thought, there's no reason for anybody to kind of unsubscribe just because I said what I said, because I wasn't, I was like being that man in the middle, you know? So I thought, what could it be? And then I realized, because I started to get a lot of comments on my old Secure Team 10 debunks. And, you know, if you know YouTube, um, which I'm sure everybody knows this feature, on the right hand side, there's featured videos, the suggestions for you to watch. Well, my Secure Team 10 debunks were coming up on my kind of videos that were a little bit mentioned entirely in a positive nature, okay? So what was happening is these Secure Team 10 fans were coming on, subscribing, and then they was getting deeply offended and insulted when they saw the debunk, so they was buggering off again. So I was kind of like, what do I do here? Um, and I made the decision just to... Unlist. So there you go. That's what I did. I unlisted the videos. Simple as that. And um, if you want to know why now every single video is unlisted, well, that happened around about Christmas time when Tyler was going through what he's going through now, okay? So I didn't want to bring any more negativity to that man's life. So I decided to unlist every single video. So every single Secure Team 10 debunk is unlisted on the channel. Even the ones that are just funny. For the time being. Because I don't think he needs this right now. I don't think he needs any more drama in his life. And I know there's a lot of people doing videos about him. This will probably bring some drama his way. Um, but I made it very clear at Christmas time. In fact, I got the the mugshot first before any of you. So if you're all arguing over who got what first, it was me. <laughs> not that it matters. Because I didn't do anything with it. Because I thought, you know what, it's not right for me to speak about this man's life. I don't want to be the one that puts a video out. And, you know, his little boy comes home from school and says, Dad, one of my friends has shown me this video about you. You know. So, if you want to know why... The Secure Team 10 videos are gone. That's why. Mavis, you can choose to believe what you want. I really don't give a monkey's toss. Um, but anyway, uh, about the uh, about my interviews that you you feel like you need to criticise. And Alien Attic is a player, as we know. And he has guests on that believe in everything as well. And what's that guy's name he has on? Believes in the bets ball, which was thrown out in the trash by uh, Heinick uh, as a ball well rail. Uh, it got dented in the basement, apparently. Got biffed out. It was just like a normal aluminium ball that you can buy for uh, mining in industry. They use it in the pipes as a check valve for the pressure of the oil. Uh, but yeah, I'm sorry you feel this way, Mavis. Um, you know, I, I I cherish every guest that I get on this show. By all means, you are welcome to come on if you want to come and deb debate with me. You can do. Um, Osvaldo Franco, if that's who you're talking about, about the bet sphere, yeah, um, he's a great guest, and he probably knows a lot more about UFOs than you. Is that, is that sorry, but is that pissed you off a little bit? Just a tiny bit. Tiny, tiny bit. That's it. If it hasn't, that's fine. But I just feel like I might have hit a nerve there. Uh, but yeah, Oz knows a hell of a lot about UFO, UFOlogy. You know, he might not always get it right either. But, you know, he'll say if he hasn't. Um, and uh, you, uh, you may be on about Ronnie Dawson. I don't know the guy personally. You know, he's... I like to inter I like to interview interesting people. The, speaking of in interviewing people, um, there is an interview coming out where I interview a flat earther. Though he he did state in the video that in the end that he wasn't a flat earther. He he believed that the earth is visibly flat. 
called himself Psy Man Dan, the science man. There's nothing scientific about him at all. If you were to sit down a scientist and say, watch this guy and, and explain to me what's scientific is about anything about him at all, about his approach, about his arguments, about anything about Simon Dan that's in the slightest bit scientific. But don't you think some people might say that about certain flat earth channels that present the science to you? It's an interesting little interview coming up. But um, yeah, the out there channel, ladies and gentlemen, a little bit bitter, but you know, Mavis, don't get bitter, get better, okay? Uh, yeah, people, I am Alien Addict. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Um, if you would like to consider becoming a Patreon uh, so that Tyler doesn't have to give me any more money, it would be great. Um, I will leave the link below. Uh, also, I like to have a little bit of a chat with my Patreons. Sometimes they help me out with the videos and give me ideas. Um, yeah. Good night, God bless. Mind the bugs, don't bite.